Before we get to the content, I just wanted to let you guys know we're giving away a PlayStation 5 to any subscriber that turned on our notifications, whether you're an old subscriber or a new subscriber, so long as you are subscribed and turned on my notifications at some point, you have entered for a chance to win a PS5. Now that we got all that out of the way, cue the intro. Mic check one, two, one, two. What's going on, everybody? It's been a very rough road for Houston Rockets fans. Starting from the second round exit that they suffered at the hands of the Los Angeles Lakers a mere three months ago. In a year that was supposed to be a fairly promising one, even though it was Mike D'Antoni's final year with the roster. But things began to unravel in the NBA playoffs. You see, James Harden and Russell Westbrook, believe it or not, didn't get along with each other while playing in the NBA playoffs. Eventually, at the conclusion of that series against the Los Angeles Lakers, Mike D'Antoni announced that he will not be returning to the Houston Rockets, eventually opting to go and sign with the Brooklyn Nets as an assistant coach. And then you build that all the way up to additional rumors coming out. PJ Tucker wasn't happy with the way he was treated after being a member of the Houston Rockets over the past couple of years, not getting the contract that he feels like he deserved. Adam Spoen. PJ, you said you, you want to be where you're wanted. Do you feel like the Rockets want you? Um, so you, have, you asked him? Mark Griffin. I, I haven't. Do you, have you? You should ask him. Because you're asking me a question about what they think. I can't tell you. You can ask them. The Houston Rockets eventually went and signed a first-year head coach, Steven Silas, who could be a fantastic head coach, but this rubbed off Russell Westbrook and James Harden the wrong way because they wanted to compete for a championship, and they didn't think Steven Silas was that head coach to get them over the hump. Then you get all the way to the point where the Houston Rockets eventually opt to trade Russell Westbrook for John Wall, who is coming off of a very, probably the worst sports injury that you could ever sustain, a ruptured Achilles. But on top of that, they were able to make a couple of other shrewd moves. They were able to sign Christian Wood and DeMarcus Cousins, but they traded Robert Covington just for salary cap relief. And once you make a move like that, you're pretty much conveying to your star player, hey, we're not necessarily trying to contend anymore. But it gets worse from there. You see, if that didn't make you anxious as a Houston Rockets fan, well, after that, James Harden still said that he wants to be traded to the Brooklyn Nets, the Philadelphia 76ers, the Miami Heat. Pretty much he wants to be traded to any team and wants out of Houston. Well, in order to really drive home that point, James Harden decided not to show up to training camp, instead opting for uh, extracurricular activities. But things get worse from there. Believe it or not, it gets way, way worse from there. After the Houston Rockets did have some bright spots with John Wall and DeMarcus Cousins looking pretty freaking good in their preseason debuts, mind you, well, it still seems like no matter what, James Harden is not interested in a partnership with John Wall and he still wants out of Houston. This is despite the fact that John Wall came out and said that he had a conversation with James Harden and is really looking forward to what they could accomplish with each other. Wall said, I think me and James can be a heck of a combination. I just hope we get the opportunity to get into the regular season and see how it goes. Despite that, according to Ramona Shelburne and Adrian Wojnowski, John Wall's arrival in Washington has changed nothing for James Harden. He's unmoved and uninterested in forming a partnership with John Wall and still wants the Houston Rockets to trade him so he can get a fresh start with a brand new team. Now, let's be honest, I don't think that new team's gonna be the Brooklyn Nets because the Brooklyn Nets seem fine with Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, and the amount of depth they have. I think that team isn't going to be the Philadelphia 76ers because apparently the Houston Rockets said that in order for the Sixers to get James Harden, they're going to have to give up Ben Simmons and three first round picks. If you're the Philadelphia 76ers, you're probably not going to say yes to that deal. 
Now, bear in mind, this is just a rumor, so let me know in the comment section down below if you buy that rumor, but that's not exactly the point of this video, because when James Harden said that he was going to report to training camp, well, there was a tremendous amount of optimism from not only Houston Rockets fans, but every NBA fan. In terms of, I don't know about you guys, personally, I would like to see James Harden at least give John Wall and DeMarcus Cousins and Christian Wood a chance to compete. It it would be nice to see him give his new head coach Steven Silas a chance to utilize him and see how he would use him in his style of offense which would probably differ from Mike D'Antoni slightly because Mike D'Antoni was famous for the seven seconds or less offense although he tweaked it slightly in order to make it a little bit more isolation heavy to suit James Harden's skill set a little bit better but maybe Steven Silas places a little bit more of an emphasis on the defensive side of the ball he's coming from the Rick Carlisle coaching tree and Rick Carlisle's known for being a little a bit more in your face and placing a great emphasis on the defensive side of the ball. Well, here's the thing. The good news is James Harden yesterday trained with the Houston Rockets. And even better news, we found out that James Harden was set to make his debut for the Houston Rockets tonight. And he did. So what's the problem? Well, in addition to every piece of information that I have just given you so far, when James Harden finally decided to make his debut for the Houston Rockets, let's just say he didn't really look like he came to play. Because take a look at this picture right in front of you, bro. James Harden looks extremely out of shape and really freaking overweight. Now, I understand that it could be a camera angle thing. In this picture, James Harden is looking a little bit more like Rick Ross than, I don't know, the former MVP and the player that is probably going to lead the entire NBA in scoring. And if it makes you feel any better during the actual game, James Harden seemed to be the same James Harden of old. His step back was still beautiful and automatic. And if you're wondering if this is a camera angle thing or not, well, if you ask me, I think more likely than not, it probably is. And I'm going to just try to dispel the notion that the media is just trying to distort the narrative of James Harden being lazy and uninterested in Houston Rockets games. Because this is a picture of James Harden 24 hours ago. This is a picture of James Harden now. So if you're concerned as a Houston Rockets fan, I'm just saying because you've probably seen this picture over and over and over again. It's just a bad angle. There's a bunch of air in that shirt. He's not actually that overweight, although the angle is hysterical and he does look like Rick Ross, if you ask me. It's been a tough off season for you guys, but no worries. I think James Harden is going to be perfectly capable of playing this upcoming season, although the fate of his future is still unknown. So let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about this entire situation and about how hilarious this photo is. Aside from that, I'm your boy, The Flight Mike, and I'm dropping our mic until our next upload.